Hi guys, my name is Jane. I am currently a final year student at the Hague University and also a student ambassador for the Study in Holland team. In the previous video, I have talked to you guys about four things that you must know before having a part-time job in the Netherlands. That's why in this video, I'm going to guide you through all the options for part-time jobs in the Netherlands. Finding a part-time job without speaking Dutch is no easy feat, but it's not impossible. Uh, this also depends on your personal interests and strengths. Um, so what are the uh, job opportunities that is available uh, in the Netherlands for international students? Let's get to it, shall we? Working in a bar, restaurant or cafe is a popular choice uh, if you want to find a part-time job. However, is it indeed easier to find those job opportunity in uh, big cities such as uh, Amsterdam, uh, Rotterdam, Den Haag or uh, Utrecht? Um, I do know a lot of my friends have to travel two or three hours to a different city for a part-time job. Um, for my experience, I am currently working at uh, Schuurtetam Den Haag as a kitchen employee and um, to be honest, I was very lucky to be able to find such an international workplace environment where most of the staff are uh, internationals and only a few can speak Dutch. Um, uh, f in my case, I was um, a. I already had experience as a sushi roller, and I also did a lot of uh, uh, part-time job as a waitress uh, in a lot of restaurant in Australia. So that's why at the time the job was uh, actually a perfect fit for me. And uh, since The Hague is a very international city, so it is no harm to just ask the customer if they can speak English. And you can find um, part-time jobs in the uh, Horeca uh, industry if you go to Indy or just Google or go to Temple Team and there will be a lot of options for you to find. On the same note, I uh, know a lot of my friends did this to get a part-time job in the Horeca industry. Um, they just scout the street and actually be proactive. Just popping in uh, at, a re at a restaurant and ask if they are hiring. Another option is that you can work as a food delivery driver for such company as Deliveroo, Thabuzor or Uber Eats. As an aftermath of the coronavirus, the food delivery is on the rise and these companies always in need of workers. Furthermore, you can also uh, search um, if certain restaurants in your city are hiring food delivery driver themselves. If you fancy helping out busy families and have childcare experience, you can apply to for a babysitting job. I used to apply for a babysitting job through Charlie Cares and uh, it was in my strong suit because I didn't have any uh, children first aid skills and other experience. But if you are qualified and um, have referral from your previous au pair or babysitting jobs, I suggest you apply for a babysitting as a babysitter for Charlie Cares. I have never done this before, but I saw a recommendation somewhere suggested that uh, you could try out paw shake for pet sitting. If you have experience um, and love pets and have extra time, uh, you could try out this platform and help people taking care of their pets. I don't really know what are the chances to get an office job uh, and maybe as a part-time intern, but I found some uh, positions available on LinkedIn. Uh, this could be a startup who are looking for a brand ambassador or social media interns. 
And this could also be an unpaid job, but this would look uh, really nice on your CV uh, when you have to find a full-time internship for your study later. That's it guys, um, these suggestions are based on my own experience and observations. If you have any questions or remarks, please pop it down in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video.